Okay, <clears throat> start screens, win lose screens, and reset buttons. Um, so let's start off with uh, adding some scenes. This guy here is called the initial scene, and generally that's probably where you build your gameplay. So all we're going to do is we're going to add uh, two scenes to that. And for right now, I'm going to call one the start screen, and I'm going to call one the game over screen. All right. And we can put these in any, any order that we want to run them. And so on the start screen right now, you can see that I've at least wrote the names down for three different actors. I wrote restart, game over message, and directions. All right, so all these actors are going to have to deal with writing on the screen, so some display text, something we haven't covered yet. So I'm just going to take game over message for a moment, and from the actors tab, and you'll notice I'm already tabbed onto the start screen here. This is the screen that's up. So from the game, from the directions, I'm going to grab those and I'm going to haul them on. There is my default uh, box there, 120 by 120. I'm going to make a little bit bigger box. I might move it up a little bit. And I'm going to type some things in it. Okay. So, um, directions. Display text. Okay. This is where we write <laughs> directions. All right. I'm going to make it some contrasting color to black, and I'll show you here in a minute how we're going to do that. I'm going to make it yellow for a moment, and um, I'm going to say wrap text inside. Oops, say okay. I'm going to say wrap text inside actor, which means if it's too long, it'll just bend around, and I'm going to leave the rest of it exactly how it is. Um, if I run it right now, you'll see that um, I didn't come up because my start message was not the first scene, so watch. I can go over and grab this and move it up to the beginning. <laughs> All right, so if you'll notice, this is where we write directions, comes up there, and it didn't look too bad, but you go white and yellow together, that wasn't very good. So I'll show you what we do with that. We click on the actor itself, we go over to where it says actor, we go down to where it says color, and here's th something called alpha, okay? So on color, y'all, on color, we double click on alpha. Let's try this again. And when we get double click on alpha, if we punch in zero and we click somewhere else, you'll notice that that part disappears. So one, I didn't like the fact that there was no period at the end of that sentence either. So I hit period and if I run this guy again with my start screen in number one position, it's, it comes up. So the next thing I do is I put another uh, actor in the start screen and I'm gonna go this time over to where it says a restart button. I'm gonna hold him on the screen. I'm gonna resize it maybe just a little bit. And I'm going to put him down in the lower left-hand corner. And again, this is a display text. Okay. Instead of display text, I'm going to say start. Mark. And now again, I can change it to whatever color of font that I want. I'm going to go a light blue with this one and say OK. And this one, I'll show you the difference. I'm going to put a little bit of a background on this one. So I'm going to go color for my background. And I'm just going to turn it a, uh, maybe a darker color of gray and say OK. All right. And as we can see now, if we run it, now I've got basically a start button of some sort. And this is where we write directions. I come back and I put one more piece of code on this. So um, I'm going to do another rule. And I'm going to say if. And then this is going to be something new also. I'm going to type in the word touch. Not tough, but touch. Get it. When touch is pressed, do the following. I'm going to change scenes. I'm going to go, I don't want any ads, so I'm just going to say no ads. And I'm going to go to the next scene in the directions. So the next scene would be our game scene. There's really nothing in there right now, but you'll see the fact that it changes. Okay, so this rule, what does it do? It changes scenes. All right, and this one displays text, just what I've said. So if we click it now, this is where we write directions, and if I hit start, you'll see that it popped over to the new text, or the new scene in some sort. This is where your gameplay will happen, and um, I'm probably going to cut this video off for now, and I'll just make another short one about how to put a win or lose message in. Uh, thanks for today.